is a bigger test than failure. So these are the four isbir wa sabir. What does rabitu mean? Rabitu means get ready for war. Ribat is extremely important. The ribat is that you you get you, you watch out the for the enemy. Right? Uh, in the uh, in the old times you used to have a city and then you'd have these citadels. Usually you had one on uh, above each gate of the city or uh, there's eight or four citadels depending on the shape of the city and you sat there watching okay you sat there watching all right uh, for people to uh, who, if there are enemies coming so this is murabata okay al ribat and the prophet said 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 what is the ribat of the ego you want to let's say you want to get engaged in spiritual war all right, I'll tell you how to do spiritual war. Never be off wudu. The Prophet ﷺ said, Al wudu and al makari. Wudu when you least want to make wudu. Just go for today or tomorrow and never be off of wudu. Because you say to yourself, what we all say, hey, I'm a regular person. What do I have to do with war? Right? I'm never going to see a war in my life. I'm never going to be. 99% of people in the modern world will never be part of a war at all in their life. Right? So, what, what is my war? So, spiritual war. Don't ever be off wudu. Try it. See how difficult it is. Especially here living in these Western countries where there are no, uh, no bathrooms for this. So, I always look for the baby changing rooms. Those are good. You get to go in, lock the door. Right? Baby changing room. No one's ever there. You get to take your jacket off, roll your sleeves up, take your shoes off, make a proper wudu, right? Then dry it all up, clean it all up, and leave. And nobody who's staring at you, no weird situations. Just try it to have wudu all the time. And then, kathratul khuta ila masajid. Go to the masajid a lot, eat once a day. Go to masjid once a day, pray any salah in the masjid, see how your state changes. And then, intidharu salah ba'd salah. Then at a higher level than that, go for one obligate, obligatory prayer and stay until the next obligatory prayer. In the summertime, it's usually um, Maghrib to Isha. Right? And usually Masajid, they have some nice things, especially if they have land. They might have like an outdoor area and they might have some courts, basketball courts for the Shabab youth. It becomes a community center. So you go in for Maghrib at around 8.30, hang out all the way till like 9.30 or 10 or something like that or 8 to 9.30, something like that, which is always nice, right? So from one obligation to the next. In the wintertime, it's Juma, and we just wait for Asr, right? There's no point in leaving because you're going to pray Asr anyway, right? And, and the, and the window's so short, which actually might change because we don't longer do daylight savings, right? So we're going to see how that affects things. So I think Asr will still be at around 3.30 rather than 2.30. So that, those are the three things the Prophet ﷺ said are the greatest deeds for a person to do. Always stay on wudu, or wudu in in the karhiyat, or where you where you dislike to do it. Kathratul khuta ila masajid, taking a lot of steps to the masajid, and then intidharu salah ba'da salah. Fadalikum al ribat, dalikum al ribat, dalikum al ribat. Prophet I said him said it three times. That's the ribat of a mu'min, the ribat, the spiritual war of a believer. Okay. Thorough performances of wudu, right? Frequent attendance of the mosque and waiting for one prayer to the next. And Allah subhanahu